We are currently at the airport, all checked in and everything. We're just waiting for our flight to board to Hobart. We just arrived in Tassie. If you're not from Australia, Tassie is Tasmania. The bottom. It's down the bottom of Australia. Um, but it is so cold here. Tell people how cold it is. <laughs> That's what I just said. <laughs> it's like 12 degrees, which is That's freezing degree. for us quick. We've taken a little pit stop to, what's this place called? Fossil Bay Lookout. We literally were just driving past it and oh, thought it looked yeah. pretty. Our Airbnb overlooks this like pear orchid. Ooh. <laughs> Outfit check. That's so cool. Coffee with a view. Let's go. Thank you. We have quickly just run back to our Airbnb to get changed out of our activewear because we're gonna go for another drive it's about a 40 minute drive away but the drives here are just so beautiful so i'm kind of looking forward to it um we've already had such a nice morning i'm gonna bring my film camera because i forgot to bring that this morning and i was super annoyed with myself i also thought that on my way out i'll give you guys a quick little airbnb tour we got in super late last night so it was pitch black and we were just looking forward to bed honestly but there's not much to it it's super basic there's just a cute little bed over here. It was actually cozy last night. I was worried it was going to be a bit chilly, but we had the heater on. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then there's a kitchenette here and a little lounge space with this bowl of fruit. I think Tazi is one of the most beautiful places I've right. ever been to. six and the sun is rising we're actually just quickly running out we're both literally still in our pajamas but Al wants to get to this cave to take a quick photo as the sun rises so that's where we're going now fashion I'm not sure if I said it earlier, but we have about ah my little lens cap is still not opening properly. So frustrating. But we have about an hour and a half drive ahead of us. Hopefully we can find somewhere along the way to grab coffee. Because I am craving one. But yeah, other than that, Al is already waiting in the car as per. And I've got my suitcase. We just stumbled across a really cute little bakery and we're starving. So we're gonna grab a croissant and coffee on the way to the market. And load it down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. Cause I love you, baby. I can't let you go, baby. I gotta tell you that I'm 
<laughs> Perhaps the messiest sandwich ever, but it's like halloumi and mushroom. Just left the Salamanca market and a really nice girl on Instagram just messaged me and told me about a vintage market, which is just a few streets over apparently. So we're currently on our way there. It is much, much later now. We're actually in our next Airbnb. I have just gotten ready. I'm gonna put a coat over this because it is very chilly outside. I also managed to wash and dry my hair because this hotel had a hair dryer, which literally always makes me feel like a brand new person. Also, just before we came, I got my nails done and I got brown love hearts, but they kind of just look like little blood blisters. <laughs> a bit of a nail fail. I've got an eggplant bow. Yum! Holy moly, that farmer's market was literally the best farmer's market that I've ever been to. I would literally do anything to do my grocery shopping there every week. Those figs were like hands down some of the best I've ever had. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> We're up early this morning because we are going to the Mona Gallery. I think it's our fourth full day in Hobart. It's our third full day in Hobart. Um, we're on the hunt to go and find Brecky now, but yeah, we've got a ferry at 10.15 a.m. this morning that we're going to. Avo, tomato, and halloumi bruschetta. <laughs> Breakfast was so good. A little bit of a hidden gem, one of those ones that it didn't look like it was going to be that good of a spot, but we were so surprised. Definitely recommend Machine Laundry Cafe if you're around here. Burger. We just got back from the Mona and we're at our hotel. We just checked out actually because we're on our way to our next Airbnb. This one I'm really excited about, but we're just waiting on our Uber, hence why I'm wearing a mask. We still have to wear masks in Ubers here. Oh, it's so cute, Al. They also left us some fresh bread and some wine and some jam and butter. This Airbnb is literally my dream house. Also, yes, I am wearing one of the samples of the Lolita by Lolita jumpers that are going to be releasing very shortly for winter. So comfy. We just got back from the supermarket. There's actually the cutest little grocery store just around the corner from where we're staying. Give it a shout out. Salamanca Fresh. 
the produce here is so cheap and just like so good it, i was in my element i was like oh my god can we get this 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 anyways i was like a kid in a candy store wasn't i uh -huh. <laughs> thinking of making Mexican tonight. We're here for two nights. I'm not too sure if I already mentioned that. But yeah, enough time to kind of do a decent grocery shop and stock up and make proper meals. I'm very excited because we've just been eating out this whole time so far. Here's a little bit of an overview of everything that we got. So this is all the dinner stuff. And then we just got a few other fun things. They made this rocket pesto there. So I'm so excited to try it out. It looks so good. We just got some cheese and crackers. All of these strawberries were like $3, which I want to make pancakes in the morning. So I'm going to use those. And then this juice sounded really yummy. Apple and strawberry juice. <gasps> what a sunset. It's so windy out here. We're making dinner. Our favorite Mexican, so easy. We just do potatoes, onion, and capsicum with like a burrito seasoning that you can buy at any supermarket, literally. And then this is just beans, onion, tomatoes, spices again. And these tomatoes we picked from the garden. I'm gonna make a salsa out of these. So good. We've been having a super chill morning so far. Just made myself some brekkie. This Airbnb left us some bread and like some condiments and some eggs. So I've just made an egg on toast. But I'm just sitting down here. I actually took some photos this morning. Guys, a little bit of a sneak peek. This is the current situation. Here are some of the photos that I took. I've just been editing them. This house is like too beautiful, so I couldn't help myself but get some content. This Airbnb is pretty central. It's only a 15 minute drive into Hobart, but the last few days have just been so busy. It's kind of nice just to catch up on work and regroup for a day or two. So yeah, we really just have a chill day planned. This house is so homey though. It's literally my dream home. I know I've said this 50 million times, but yeah, I love it so much. I've just had a shower, feeling good. These are the skincare things that I bought with me. I'm trying this new brand, Olivio. They sent me a PR package just before I left, so I thought I would bring some to try out. And this night cream has been really good because my skin's been getting super dry. Did my skincare. We've actually just put dinner on, or Alex has, as well as the fire. So toasty in here. We have some potatoes cooking in here. We're gonna make a green curry for dinner. I'm editing some photos. Yeah, how good is it? Yum! Good morning you guys it is the nicest morning for our last morning here um my voice just cracked i actually feel like i could be getting a little sick or just like i think it's the change of weather um it's been really cold here but anyway we're due to check out of this place at 11 so i really want to make like a nice brekkie before we leave because yesterday we didn't get to eat outside because it was cold and it was kind of rainy as well this is just with the ingredients that they had here. They had some self-raising flour and some eggs and milk. And then this is the only sugar they have, which is kind of annoying, but I should only need a few of these. I don't have any measuring cups or anything, so I'm literally just gonna eyeball it, but I make this recipe a lot, so. just about to go and pick up our camper van because 
for the next week we're going to be road tripping um, pretty much all around Tassie. I'm going to start a new vlog though of the road trip so that means that I'm going to end this one here. Keep a lookout on my blog because I'm going to be writing a post about everywhere we stay and like our favorite restaurants and cafes and things. When I was planning this trip I couldn't really find a blog post that just had like everything all in one. So I feel like that'll be really helpful for you guys if you want to come to Tassie. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We've had a really fun time so far. Road trip time. Road trip montage. Road trip montage. <laughs>